Julian, I know when we talked at practice a week ago, you talked about the speed of everything slowing down a little bit. You know, as preseason has gone by, you know, how do you adjust? How do you feel you're adjusting to that specific part of it? Uh, I feel like I'm adjusting real well, especially compared to where I was at uh, finishing up my rookie year. Um, honestly, the the game just feels completely different. Um, I'm able to find my spots a little bit better, so I feel like I'm having good success there. Are there things that you're like approaching differently, reading differently, just in, in the flow of the offense, or is it just time that's that's really helped that? Uh, time for sure, but I mean, it ain't nothing like being on the floor. So I mean, these last three preseason games, I've been able to log close to like 90 minutes. So just being on the floor, I feel like that's the best teacher when it comes to, you know, just slowing down a bit or finding out what works for you, so. Julian, you talked a lot about how much work you put in this summer and getting healthy and all of that. How rewarding is it for you? I know there's only been a couple preseason games, but to see that work pay off in a game scenario. Oh, I mean, it feels amazing, especially just knowing that I sacrificed my whole summer, you know, just to being in here and, and making sure I could put myself in the best position to have success. So um, obviously it's just the preseason and, you know, you don't get much for that, but I feel like I have good momentum just to carry into the regular season. Do you feel like there are certain areas of your game that you really focused on this summer that have surprised you in terms of how you've been able to show up? Uh, I don't think anything surprised me per se, but I just feel like, you know, just being able to be ultra aggressive on the defensive end, you know, whether I'm making mistakes or doing the right thing, just being ultra aggressive and trying to, you know, just wreak havoc on that end because, I mean, that's a focus. And, and you know, coming off the bench, you know, me, Russ, and those guys, we got to bring energy on both ends of the floor. So, you know, just being able to hone in on, on the defensive end, and I feel like that just carries over to my offensive game. The Suns took 53s tonight. The Celtics, in the first game, took 60. What What is it like defending that? And just how do you guys continue to lock in on the perimeter defensively? Uh, I mean, it's just a modern NBA. I mean, there's going to be a bunch of tall guys shooting over contests. And uh, I mean, that's just how the game's going. So, I mean, we just got to continue to, you know, trust our brother, trust our next man in rotation, you know, to, to have, have their back. And um, I mean, just fly around. Like I said, just try to wreak havoc. You know, there's going to be mistakes and every rotation is not going to go the way you want it to. But, you know, just being able to have that energy and the effort I feel like, you know, that, that'll just cover up for all the mistakes we make right now. Just watching you and Russ seem to have really good chemistry so far. What do you like about playing with him? Oh, I mean, for a guy like me, uh, someone that could put as much pressure on the rim as he does and attract as many eyes as he does, you know, that, I mean, that's a dream come true for me as a, as a guy that likes to, you know, play off the ball and, you know, find open shots that way. I feel like our games mesh real well together. And then I've just been able to, you know, kind of just go under his wing and, and, you know, just, I mean, be on his hip. I've been attached to Russ since he got out here, you know, just trying to ask him as many questions, and, you know, see what he likes to do so I can make his life easier. And then, I mean, he's reciprocating that same energy. I'm trying to make my life easier as well. There was a stretch in early to start the fourth quarter where it was you and Christian, I think, were the only like kind of guards out there. Mm -hmm. um, when you're in those kind of lineups, does what you're trying to does your approach change at all, or what you're trying to do change at all? Oh, uh, I mean, obviously, I know I got more ball handling duties, so I feel like you know my my main focus in a, in a unit like that is making sure that I can initiate the offense, you know, successfully and, and in a good spot to where we have the opportunity to get a good look every time down. So. You know, that's that's kind of what my main focus is. And me and CB, obviously, we're going to, you know, tag team the, the point guard duties. We're not going to just leave each other on an island out there. So I feel like we did a pretty good job. You got another rim pretty well, especially in the two uh, games in Abu Dhabi. Mm -hmm. um, has something shifted for you there? Is there some part of your game that's improved? Do you think you're just, like, moving and getting to the rim faster? Or is it just, like, lineups you're playing with and stuff like that? Uh, I feel like it's being more aggressive going downhill in general. I feel like it's all the mindset. and. I feel like in my rookie year, I settled for a lot of threes that I probably could have passed up or, or could have drove to the basket. So just being able to try and be a more smart and more efficient basketball player, I feel like that's what this team needs for me. Um, but at the same time, staying aggressive because I feel like we need to score off the bench too. And you have such a good floater starting to catch you up. Uh, how do you balance that, I guess, with getting all the way to the rim and getting to the floater? Uh, I mean... I have the utmost confidence in the floater and everybody else on the team and on the staff has it too. So, I mean, if, if they're going to give me a floater, I'll take a floater 10 times, 10 times out of 10. But um, I feel like, you know, just getting stronger and being in the weight room all summer, I've been able to get to the basket and finish over guys, you know, in the positions that I probably wouldn't have in my rookie. Two more games, 
in the preseason? Just what's one thing that you're looking to sort of improve for yourself or maybe the team should be looking to improve over the course of these next uh, I mean, we just got to win at this point. We've done everything besides win. And, I mean, we got a lot to improve on, especially, you know, tonight uh, on defense. We, we kind of lost ourselves, especially on the three-point line. So um, just going into the regular season feeling good about ourselves, I feel like is, a, is our main focus. Going back to your conditioning and strength over the summertime, do you feel like your body is stronger? Like, what, what was that like for you? Yeah, I mean, I may not look like Russ in my jersey or anything like that, but I definitely feel a lot stronger and, you know, just more confident in, in, in that sense. I thought I could take bumps or deliver a bump when I need to. Um, yeah. Was that something you intentionally focused on this summer, knowing that that would be the payoff? Yeah, I mean, that was the first thing I did before I even got back on the court. Me and Felipe were in the, were in the weight room um, this summer for, for about a week before I even touched the ball. Thanks, Julian. Appreciate Thank you, Julian.